Good day everybody. Just did a painting and I'm letting it sit and uh, and cure, do its thing and I've got some more resin left. These are just fi fixing fixer uppers. Um, this was just an acrylic that I did a while ago, quite a while ago. So what I'm going to do now is there are some bits that I do like but I'll probably end up covering the whole thing. Um, and my resin is starting to set a little bit so I've got to get crack lacking people so it was meant to be just um, a little bit of blue and just uh, some white oh that's starting to feel a little bit warm not too warm yet just yet but it is warming up which means I need to get um, cracking here I quite enjoyed this last painting that I did it's something different and interesting and I hope it stays like that that would be really really cool if it did but if it doesn't and it doesn't what can you do some more of this um, clear and uh, I'm gonna um, get some of my white where's my white here it is Get some of my white and pop it in here. Didn't really want too much white, but oh well, looks like I'm getting quite a bit of white. Give it a stir. This is the angel white, the famous angel white. If you, you know, don't put enough in there, it'll be quite transparent. So I'll put in 10% to be safe and it. it then it turns into a lovely opaque. Okay, here we go. Just leave it aside and I've got a gorgeous blue, which is not in the shop yet, but it will be soon. So I'm going to go down here with this, this blue. Like that. It's quite a pretty, pretty blue. You will see in a minute. I'm going to go up here with it a little bit. And I do like that green, but I want to add a little bit of this blue up here as well. And that's all of that gone. And I want to add a tiny little shimmer of this silver. Try not to add too much. It'll take over, come on, it'll take over the whole piece and you don't want that. I just want a little shimmer of that silver there and maybe a tiny little bit over here. You see that's only a tiny little bit there. I usually overdo it with a white, so we'll see how we go this time. Probably overdo it again. Can't help myself. here I'm rushing a little bit because um, I'm getting this um, it's starting to thicken up on me so it's going to be quite a, a wavy wavy sea of lots of sea foam and I need a little bit more of this clear in between To, to give it, you know, that uh, movement. Otherwise it doesn't move and it sort of gets, it just doesn't, doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Unless that's what you want, you know. Depends on the style and the technique and whatever you're using. Okay, just clean my hands a little bit. Okay, here we go. Whenever I can see that there's bare bits, I'm just going to dab my finger in there. Spread that a little bit. Just to help it along a bit. And 
when I say say bare bits, I just mean bits that don't have resin on it. Okay, well, let's go. I've got to stand up for this one. Oh, some more. Okay, let's go. I like that even just as is. Lord, get it right. I've got some more here. Just going to put my attachment on there. Careful doing that. If you if you've already used your your um, heat gun, it'll be too really really hot. So you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, let's go. Oh wow, this is really crazy. Now I'm just going to leave it and watch it. See it? It's moving. It actually looks like a real wave. And that actually looks like a drop there of, of water. So cool. So cool. So try and tilt it back a little bit. Wow, that's amazing. This is the thing with resin, you know. It just um, as soon as you heat it up, it's so loose, just goes bananas. I want to bring it back a little bit now. Now I let it pull back by itself. I like that there. Just going to leave that because it's just a stop, stop, stop. Well, this is going to be quite interesting. Ooh, stuff happening there. Yep, yeah, stuff happening everywhere. I'm just adding a little bit more of this white here. Making it into a like a wave. Crashing right there. This looks a way, 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 way cray cray. Way, way cray cray? Yes, ma'am. Tiny little bit of that blue, I'm just going to add it in here to give it a bit. I'm just dragging it. And that sells. Wow. You need to stop moving now. I've got to put something under there to stop it from moving. It's you've moved enough. It's enough movement now. Ooh. Oops, that's too much. Just one. It's because of the canvas. It just droops in the middle. Wow, that is crazy. Please stay like that. Please, I'm begging everybody and everything, all the gods, the resin gods, the pigment gods, stay please. This is so crazy. Sorry, I'm getting excited because you can see through. You can see like one, two, three layers just in that spot there and here. I don't know how I did this. Don't, just don't ask me. I'm going to have to watch this video again. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Um, but I will we'll bring you closer so you can have a look. And I, I just hope I can get some of these photos because um, they just look amazing. And just want to go around and tidy up the edges now, just with this white. And that, that'll that be it. But before I do that, i got to take some photos. That's just it. Got to take photos of this beauty. 
all right well thank you so much for watching please visit my store i'm gonna have some paintings selling really really cheap um that's because i'm clearing my studio we're moving at the end of the year early next year so um i need to get these into into a home so do visit the shop and have a look okay bye for now okay here it is it's moved a little bit but i'm just trying to go in so you can see the depth of this and this is only a small piece like if you could do this on a, on a bigger piece that would be you know really really awesome Look at that. This looks like a hole and you can see right through it. That's cool. I'm really excited about that. Real excited. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know what you think. Thank you.